Tonight, a civil rights group says it is lifting the veil on alleged racial bias in the Ferndale Police Department. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Michigan's chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations began their review after they say an African-American Muslim woman was forced to remove her hijab during the booking process after she was allegedly stopped for expired tags. 7 Action News anchor Mike Duffy joins us now from the newsroom with the group's findings, Mike. Brian, Glenda, while a settlement was eventually reached in this case, it prompted CARE to look at the activity of Ferndale Police along the eight mile border. Now, the group found that 75% of all stops in neighboring cities by Ferndale Police, which includes Detroit, Hazel Park, and Royal Oak Township, happened on eight mile. The report also finds 11% of all citations issued by Ferndale were issued on the Detroit side of eight mile. And 84% of those stops were black motorists. Just 1% of the stops involved a resident of Ferndale. But we believe that the citizens of Ferndale would never go for the Detroit police to be policing the opposite side of 8 Mile, going westbound, in which the city of Detroit would be stopping motorists driving through Ferndale who have not driven through Detroit, cite those people, arrest those people, and then actually collect that revenue for the city of Detroit or to be locking up white folks who are Ferndale residents and taking them down to Detroit, holding Detroit jail. Now, CARE says that further investigation needs to be done into the impact of these traffic stops, and they're calling on the U.S. Department of Justice to launch an investigation into the department. The city of Ferndale releasing a statement today in response to that report. It reads in part, the Ferndale Police Department does not enforce traffic outside the Ferndale jurisdiction. Ferndale's southern border along 8 Mile Road extends through the median and includes portions of eastbound traffic lanes. Our department upholds collaborative and respectful relationship with neighboring cities. The Ferndale Police Department understands our community's values and the importance of high standards. And if you want, you can read the city's full statement on WXYZ.com. Brian, Glenda. All right, Mike. Thank you. We will see if the Justice Department weighs in.